Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Yuya Fabulosa and in this video we're going to talk about wigs. Now the first thing to note about wigs is that they fall under two general categories. Human hair and synthetic hair. Now both wigs have their pros and cons and I personally own human hair and synthetic hair. Uh, for example, the wig that I'm wearing now is synthetic, but the hair you see right here is human hair. Now what's the difference? Well, the biggest difference is cost. Human hair is significantly more expensive than synthetic hair. Now human hair is a lot more versatile than synthetic hair because you can use heat to style it. So you can use a flat iron or you can use a blow dryer to style the hair and make it look however you please. Synthetic hair, on the other hand, is usually already styled and ready to wear. Think shake and go wigs. And did I mention that human hair wigs are a lot more realistic looking than synthetic wigs? Although synthetic wigs are getting a lot better with technology advancements, so it's getting to the point where it's kind of difficult to tell the difference between a human hair wig and a synthetic wig. When shopping for human hair, you might notice some buzzwords like virgin hair or Remy hair. Now, all that really means is that with virgin hair, it's hair that hasn't been chemically bleached or dyed or anything like that. It's hair that is as natural as it is when it came off the live model. And then with Remy hair, it just means that the cuticles are intact. They haven't been stripped in acid. And with Remy hair, it's a lot more soft than non-Remy hair. Another key thing to note between human hair and synthetic hair is that the lifespan of synthetic wig is usually going to be between three to six months, whereas human hair will last upward to a year or two years, depending on how you treat it, meaning washing it, making sure that it doesn't get tangled, making sure that you're properly storing your wigs, like on a wig head like this. You know, wigs take care, and so you want to make sure that when you're buying human hair or synthetic wigs, that you're taking good care of them so that you're getting maximum use of those wigs. There's also a third option out there, which is a human hair blend, which blends synthetic with human hair. So it looks a lot more natural like human hair, but isn't as expensive and it's a bit cheaper like synthetic wigs. And like human hair, blended wigs can also be heat styled. Now when chopping for a wig, color and style are key because you wanna choose something that's flattering to your face and features. Now some key things to consider when shopping for that wig, you want to make sure you find a wig that's within two shades of your natural hair color for the most flattering look. Wigs that are a solid color like brunette or blonde are going to look a lot more natural, as well as wigs with highlights. Shoulder length wigs are a lot easier to maintain and take care of. And lastly, wigs that are shoulder length are universally flattering. Now the last thing to know is that there are wigs with lace and without lace. All laces is a mesh type fabric that is on the hairline of the wigs that you can use to glue onto your head to really secure that wig, as well as blend it in with your actual hair. Lace wigs are usually more expensive than wigs without lace, and they're a bit more harder to take care of, but totally worth it as it creates a much more natural look when wearing the wigs, and it's easier to secure that wig on and make sure it stays on once you glue it onto your head. Now with lace wigs, there are really just two different types you need to note. It's lace front and 360 lace. Now lace front wigs just have the lace in the front of the wig that you'll secure on your forehead, whereas 360 lace has lace all around the perimeter of the wig, that really secures the wig onto your head from the back, the front, and the sides. Now all those tips I shared in the first half of this video are things you're gonna keep in mind when buying a wig. Now that you're equipped with all that knowledge, it's time for me to share with you all where I find my wigs. Now at the start of my journey, I bought most of my wigs from eBay. Now eBay is great because there are sellers from all over the world selling all different types of wigs, synthetic, human hair, blends, and all different shapes and sizes and colors. It's really great. And there's some great filters on eBay for you to find the best wigs out there. Now the only problem with eBay is that there's just so many different sellers. There are varying times for wig revivals. And there's some sellers out there that don't actually show the wigs. They just show like a model, they'll show like a screenshot of somebody wearing a wig, or really it's their human hair, and there's not actually a solo shot of the wig on a wig head or a mannequin or anything like that. So with those sellers, I would avoid them. Don't buy a wig on eBay unless you can actually see the wig in a bag or on a wig head or foam head, because usually those are scams and the wig looks nothing like it does on the person modeling the wig, or honestly, it's probably not even a wig that they're wearing, it's probably their actual hair, and the wig is styled to look like that hair. But again, do not purchase wigs unless you can actually see the wig on a wig head or just like laying down. Don't buy it off of a, a, a seller who's just using model photos because typically it's nine times out of ten a scam. 
Now, I still occasionally buy wigs from eBay, but the bulk of my most recent wig purchases have come from Etsy. The wig I'm wearing now, I bought at Etsy, and this red wig here, I also bought at Etsy. But you cannot underestimate the power of going in person and buying wigs, like this wig here I bought in person. Look at this one, it's so beautiful. Love these chains. And I wouldn't have found this wig unless I went into a wig store in person because you can see so many different types of wigs and actually try them on. See this wig here, it looks kind of heavy, but it really isn't. It is all chains, but I tried it on before purchasing, realized that it was perfect for me. I liked how it was cut and how it looked on me, and so I purchased it. So don't underestimate the power of in-store shopping. But there's just something about Etsy that keeps me coming back for more. I think it's because a lot of these sellers put a lot of love, care, and attention to detail in each and every one of their wigs. And it's truly unrivaled because I've seen so many fabulous wigs on Etsy. Honestly, the last 20 of my wigs or so have been from Etsy because they're absolutely fabulous. And you can't find wigs that are styled and colored these ways just anywhere. I mean, you can go into a physical in-person store but sometimes they don't have the color you're looking for or the style you're looking for. And so on Etsy, there are a lot of wig makers out there who are taking custom orders to create the wig of your dreams. I've actually put in several custom requests already, and I haven't been disappointed yet. Just in case you're interested, I'll share some of my favorite Etsy sellers in the description box below. And now it's time for me to hear from you. Where do you go to shop for your wigs? Is there a particular color or style that you gravitate towards? Let me know in the comment section down below. Now, before I end this video, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Skillshare. For those of you who don't know, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. There are so many different courses that you can find on Skillshare, especially those of you who are interested in cross-dressing and looking more feminine. There are a ton of makeup classes here on the platform, as well as other creative things like how to crochet, how to design, how to sew. Anything that you would be interested in, you can find it on Skillshare. Now, the first 1,000 people who use the link in my description box below will receive a one-month free trial to Skillshare Premium. So check it out. Thank you so much, Skillshare, for sponsoring today's video. Now that's all the wig knowledge I have to share with you all. I hope you all found this video helpful. And if you have any additional questions, be sure to ask me in the comment section down below. As always, I'm Yufirosa. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.